The Riggs Reese program gives the oil and gas companies the opportunity to take the existing platforms in the Gulf of Mexico, which are reefs as they exist right now, donate them to the state as an eternal reef for the Gulf of Mexico. The platforms are obsolete. Rather than being cut up for scrap, the underwater structure is left in place. These are platforms that have reached the end of their economic life. The reserves have been depleted. There's no more oil and gas production. These structures provide a habitat that teems with life. The fish really go to that structure. They're just covered in fish all year long. There's about four different user groups that use the platforms. There's recreational divers, recreational fishermen, charter fishermen, and commercial fishermen all use the platforms after they've been left in place. Hey, that's keeper. Over 100 oil rigs have been donated to the program, allowing all parties to benefit. We believe that there are ways for industry and environment to coexist and benefit, and the Riggs to Reef is just a marvelous example. The structure the Riggs provide benefit many creatures. Oh, man. One in particular is red snapper. There's a fish on there. Red snapper certainly is one of the species that has been impacted by artificial reefs. <laughs> artificial reefs and oil and gas platforms have, have played a role in their expansion as well as uh, their rebuilding. You need to help with that? No, that's okay. If I can't get them in, I don't deserve them. Since the late 1980s, when red snapper was probably at its lowest level, we've probably seen abundance increase from two to 300% now. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous fish. It's his birthday. Oh, yeah. My birthday. Where's the party at? I don't know. 